Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Let them rest from the labors, for their good deeds vote with them. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us come together in the presence of the Lord, and we are asking to bring into our lives the experience of mercy, compassion, and peace, and particularly Today, on this celebration of the Anzac Day, we entrust the Lord to those ones that they are already resting in in His love made. We give and found consolation as well from the Lord. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have, Lord have mercy. You are the Son of God and the Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are the worth may flesh the splendor of the Father, Lord have, mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, uh, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty everlasting God, who sent your Son to die that we might, might live, grant, we pray, eternal rest to those who gave themselves in service and sacrifice for their country. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the virtuous are in the hands of God. No torment shall ever touch them. In the eyes of the unwise, they did appear to die. Their going looked like a disaster, their leaving like annihilation. But they are in peace. If they are experienced punishment as men see it, their hope was rich with immortality. Slight was their affliction, great will be their blessing. God has put them to the test and proved them worthy to be with him. He has tested them like gold in a furnace and accepted them as a holocaust. When the time comes for his visitation, they will shine out as sparks run through the stubble. So will they. They shall judge nations, rule over peoples, and the Lord will be their king forever. They who trust in him will understand the truth. Those who are faithful will live with him in love. For grace and mercy await those he has chosen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I will I walk, walk in the presence, presence of the Lord in the land of the living. How gracious is the Lord and just. Our God has compassion. The Lord protects the simple hearts. I was helpless, so he saved me. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I trusted even when I said, I am sorely afflicted. And when I said in my alarm, no man can be trusted. I will, I will walk in, in the presence, presence of the Lord in the land of the living. O precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. I will, I will walk, walk in, in the presence, presence of the Lord in the land of the living. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. For us, our homeland is in heaven, and from heaven comes the Saviour we are waiting for, the Lord Jesus Christ. 
and he will transfigure these wretched bodies of ours into copies of his glorious body. He will do that by the same power with which he can subdue the whole universe. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Let those who have died in the Lord live and rest through the labors for the good deeds of God within. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Now the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. I tell you most, most solemnly, unless a wheat grain falls on the ground and dies, it remains only a single grain. But if he dies, it yields a rich harvest. Anyone who loves his life loses it. Anyone who hates his life in this world will keep it for the eternal life. If a man serves me, he must follow me. Whatever I am, my servant will be there too. If anyone serves me, my father will honor him. Now my soul is troubled. What should I say? Father, save me from this hour. But it was for this very reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. A voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I believe everyone is familiar with the events that, that I brought to mind during the commemoration of Answer Day. Those events are part of uh, Australian and uh, New Zealand's uh, history and an expression and testimony of those who, who precede us. Their courage, determination, and sacrifice are an irrefutable proof of bravery and love for all of us. Perhaps we don't live in conflict with other nations and our freedom is not under threat, but uh, Still, we are constantly called to fight for that on different scenarios. It is incredible how many in this country will continue living without peace. Circumstances may be not as easy as we can expect, but it is necessary to follow the example of these women and men that fought the great fight so that we will enjoy the fruits of what was uh, just uh, a vision for them. We need to honor their memories, living to the best of our abilities with the same disposition, thinking of living a better place, not for us, but for future generations. A word of appreciation and consideration for all the families who have suffered a great loss at the hands of war. May we continue embracing peace at all cost as a precious possession that we inherited to pres pres preserve and not waste. May my sympathies to all of you and may God continue blessing all of you with, it, with his consolation.
Let's say you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become a spiritual drink. Pray, dear friends, I may sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant, O Heavenly Father, that the sacrifice of Christ, who laid down his life for his friends, may raise all those who have died in war to the victory of eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift her out your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time of all to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us but defends us and never pleads our cause before you. He is uh, the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once enslaved who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with Pascal joy, every land and every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with their jelly host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the heart. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon the like do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. Open your cross and resurrection. You have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministry to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. To remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring, uh, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. To remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that uh, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may marry to be God heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your son in Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, our God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil. Graciously grant our peace in our days, that uh, by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, I say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I will say the word. Greater love has no one than to lay down his life for his friends, says the Lord. Spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. By our communion with the sacrament, O Lord, grant us, we pray, fortitude in the cause of right, and may our remembrance of those who have died in war make us ardent for the under defenders of your peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saints of God, come to their aid, hasten to meet the angels of the Lord, to see their souls and present them to God the Most High. May Christ, who call you, take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. See their soul and present them to the God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, our mass is ended.